Hey, GP kids. Have you ever been told to be still? <laughs> maybe by a parent, a grandparent, a teacher, maybe me. I don't know. Maybe I've said that to you. I don't think so. But I know that I have, especially when I was younger. I was told a lot by my mom, I remember, to be still especially when I was sitting in church and I was fidgeting because I like to fidget a lot. I'll sometimes move my uh, knee or leg up, up and down real quick or I'll fidget with my hands and just move. Uh, it's very hard for me to be still. So I don't know about you. In five seconds, I'm going to count down and I want you to see if you can be still. Are you ready? Be still. One, two, three, four, five. Did you do it? <laughs> Sometimes it can be hard. Well, I tell you, I usually would be that way and deal with um, uh, moving a lot when I had anxiety. And even, like I said, I'm a little bit older than you guys. As an adult, I still deal with anxiety sometimes, and it causes me to kind of move and pace a little bit, and fidget, uh, need something to do with my hands, or I'll walk a lot. Um, there are times just when I get anxious. I was thinking about you guys because I know this week, for a lot of you, you guys are going back to school. And whether that means you're getting online and joining your teachers and classmates through the internet, or maybe you guys are headed back into the school building for the first time since March and uh, going to join in your classrooms there. I know that through talking with a lot of you that you're kind of all over the place. I think that you're excited because you're excited to get back to school, but also maybe a little nervous because... School year sometimes brings nervousness anyway, um, let alone with it being a little bit different. So I know that you may have a lot of uh, different feelings and emotions around this school year. And I wanted to bring to you a verse that I find um, helpful for when I'm feeling all these different emotions. Uh, and I wanted to read it to you. It's Psalm 46, verse 10. Now, if you want to grab your Bible, go ahead and find it. Um, in the book of Psalms is about halfway through your Bible. Man, that's close, isn't it? Ooh, it's coming at you. Okay, so, sorry. <laughs> uh, the book of Psalms is halfway through your Bible. Uh, if you've got the Adventure Bible, it's on page 634. So if you want to pause it, 634 and find us there. Uh, Psalm 46, 10 says this. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. <sighs> okay, I want to read that again, and I want you to close your eyes, put on those listening ears, and listen to the verse again. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Now, I have had issues with anxiety, even at my age. And anxiety meaning that all those different emotions that you feel. When you're nervous, you're a little anxious, right? That's what that kind of means. Um, you're excited, but maybe a little bit of fear is in there too. Uh, so one of the things that I focus on is this verse. And the first part of it that says, be still and know that I am God, okay? There's two things in there. The first one says, be still. Now, it's not like your parent or somebody saying, like I said in the beginning, be still, right? Being still is basically a sense of calm, right? When we're still, we're calm. We can't be moving around and being still. That's not going to work. One of the things that helps me is actually breathing, and I thought, let's try that together. So I'm going to count three counts, and I want you to breathe in through your nose, and then we're going to exhale through our mouths, okay? So as I count three in and then a slow breath out, you ready? Try it with me. Ready? One, two, three, breathe in. 
and breathe out. Breathe in, one, two, three, breathe out. Did you know that breathing can actually calm us down? I don't know if you've ever tried that before or if mom or dad have asked you to do it, but breathing actually calms us down. Science says that it will slow our heart rate. It lowers our, uh, it can lower our uh, blood pressure. It can lower our anxiousness, right? It calms us and slows us down. So this week, as you face uh, going back to school and all of those different emotions that that can bring, I want you to remember this first, to be still. Like I said, do that breathing if you need to, to help you get to be calm, right? The second part of that verse says that, that, that verse says, uh, to know that I am God. And to know that he is God means that even when we can't control things, when we're feeling anxious, we're afraid, we're nervous, we're excited, and all of those things all at once, maybe we don't feel in control, but we know that God is in control. God is God. And that's, he's got it all under control. That's what we need to know. We need to be still to calm our hearts and know that God is with us, that we're not alone. He sees us being anxious. He sees us being afraid or sad, happy, joyful. He sees all of it. He created us, right? So we know that God is always with us. The Bible actually tells us that. He is always with us. So when you face this week, uh, know that God is with you. And know that we are praying for you. Miss Meredith and I are praying for you. Your church is praying for you. Uh, so you're not going into this alone, which is great. You have a whole team of people who are praying for you and who love you and uh, know all of those emotions that you're feeling. And know that it's going to be a good year, right? It may look a little bit different, but it's going to be a good year, right? It can be a good year. All right, so God loves you, so do I. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for the fact that even in our anxieties, our nervousness, our excitement, our uh, fear, or anything that we're feeling, that we can just be still and know that you are God, that you are always with us, and we thank you that you are always with us. Father, I pray for all the kids, all the teachers, everybody going back to school this week. Lord, be with them. Uh, help everybody to remain calm and trust in you. We love you. Pray all these things in Jesus' name. Everybody said amen. Guys, have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.